These men are from Tikrit. The city and its outskirts have been a battleground for weeks. It is also a region off limits to international journalists. Dia, Ahmad and Ali Hussein are witnesses to that conflict. They now live in this school further north in Kirkuk. The Iraqi government has been bombarding the mainly Sunni region as part of an offensive to recapture it from armed groups. But that offensive hasn't spared civilians. The attacks by the Iraqi Air Force have been indiscriminate. They are targeting civilian homes. Why are they targeting us? Why don't they target the Islamic State group? A few pictures like these from the front lines are available. They may provide a glimpse of what life is like for the civilians trapped inside. It is hard to verify when and where they were filmed. And these short videos explain little about the intensity of the aerial bombardment. Human rights groups are worried about the number of civilians killed, which hasn't been documented properly. The media is not showing these pictures. Many civilians are dying. It is the Sunni areas that are bearing the brunt of the shelling. Apart from the information and pictures provided by the warring sides, the conflict is largely being fought away from the cameras. These people are only a handful of the victims of Iraq's war. What they want is for journalists to go to the battlegrounds so that the world can see their suffering. But it has been hard for the media to cover this story. The self-declared Islamic State group does not welcome us in territories under their control, and the Iraqi government has imposed restrictions. These people say their testimonies should be heard so that those responsible will be held accountable. We have a big mosque called Saddam Mosque in Tikrit. It is used to house some displaced people. It was hit by military jets. I saw with my own eyes that many people were killed. Adnan left Tikrit a week ago. He says they could no longer cope. Many people here have similar stories, and many of them fear the worst. The politicians don't care about the people. This will go on. They are just fighting for seats while civilians are being killed and displaced. In every conflict, there are casualties, there is human suffering, but the full extent of Iraq's latest crisis is not being seen, except by those directly affected. Zana Khudr Al Jazeera, Kirkuk.